Hey guys, this is a little side note to my vlog. My mom actually rents uh, apartments, villas, and rooms in Koh Samui, Thailand. I will put the link on this video and also the description. You can contact her with the number that's going to be uh, listed on this video as well. And you can also search for it on Google. We have a website, we have uh, Airbnb up, so you can reserve on Airbnb, on booking, or on the website, or just by calling the number or sending an email. All right, guys, let's get back to the video. I have to start to get moving because I have to leave in less than a half an hour to the airport. I'm finally out of this, uh, my apartment. So, waiting for the... Alright guys, let's head to the airport. Um, so there's a public transportation that brings, yeah, brings me there. The As you can see now, I'm going to be in line waiting for my to check in. Uh, next pictures are in the plane, heading to Austria. In this next clip, you can see a friendly Austrian guy on my left, smiling. Austrian people look friendly checking on the different flights, looking for mine. And then I'm taking my second plate, plane from Austria to Bangkok. So this is inside the plane. And I've arrived in Bangkok, Wednesday, October 23rd. Now I'm gonna be heading to Koh Samui. Uh, not a long wait. So as you can see, I'm heading in the plane. And next clip, I'm gonna be heading out of the plane and on Koh Samui. Notice guys, I haven't been in a tropical environment since 2014 uh, when I went to the Caribbean, to my home island, St. Martin. I'm just very happy to be there and to know that in a few minutes I'm going to be seeing my mom. Training Muay Thai, enjoying the weather, the culture, the people, Thailand paradise. I hope you guys enjoy seeing my trip. Thursday in Thailand, Wednesday, October 23rd, 2019. Yeah. Place to position uh, the phone as you can see. I can have my cord like just. Yeah, so this is, this is Fisherman's Village. Here. I don't really go there very much. It's hard to park the car. Yeah. yeah. But... Oh. 
second day in Thailand, and when I finally get the opportunity to start training. Hey guys, it's 6 a.m. My mom is still sleeping. Um, I don't know why the current just cut off while I was sleeping and it woke me up. I have like 6 hours 30 to sleep, not much, but I think it's destiny because the Muay Thai class is at 8. And uh, so I guess I'll just roll with it and uh, go for the first uh, Muay, Thai course. Muay Thai course. Warning, with all the Muay Thai ahead for the next 10 minutes to the Muay Thai gym, Lionheart Muay Thai at Vong Thai Koh Samui. I want to film you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this epic sparring session. Next morning, Friday 24th of October 2020. Hey Denver. Okay, this dog is called Denver. It's my mom's golden retriever. In the house. I want to show you something that's like, so cute. Right? She like bananas. Literally eats anything. Like when I mean anything, he eats celery, carrots, everything. Fruit, vegetables. He's like, give me the banana. Wait! He's eating my oatmeal. Chunks. Chunks. Mmm. Squishy. Squishy tasty. Hey! Sit down. Sit. Sit. Can you see? You guys see how Jacob, the Caucasian guy, is circling to the right of Justin and staying on the outside of his striking range. While Justin is opting for a different type of style, way more static and stable, with more stability in his footwork, but less movement. This is a common tendency you can find in striking, the battle between movement and stability. So if you want to be more mobile, you have to sacrifice stability. And if you want to be more stable, you have to sacrifice mobility, which stability gives you in strength and in stability, which mobility gives you more speed and enhance uh, ability to dodge as well as have more control over the the ring My turn to showcase some skill.
Guru O, oh, my go-to Muay Thai trainer at Lionheart Muay Thai. I want to thank him for everything he taught me at the gym. Became much more than just a trainer, but a friend. After a good Muay Thai session, you want to relax, go to the beach, take a nap, or spend time with loved ones, go get a massage, something to recover from your training. Afternoon training. Thais didn't really like when I would go train shadow boxing on my own because I obviously have more of a European style and uh, they always would want to correct it because uh, it's not what they are familiar, familiar with. So uh, how do I uh, structure my shadow boxing? I usually start with punching, with uh, warming up my punches, then going into implementing like elbows then switching with blocks and legs I go step by step so I make it more and more complex more time passes so I warm up my body but as well as my nervous system having to manage different parts of my body and the different limbs and the different strategies Sunday is International Muay Thai Rest Day, especially in Thailand. This is where we are headed with my mom, Crystal Beach Bay Resort. Officially in Thailand.
Oh, am I Sunday night market? In Thailand, markets are super popular. You can find them everywhere, every day of the week. In these markets, you can find local food. You can find in these markets a bunch of little treats and specialties. You can pick and choose and make your, your own uh, dinner or lunch. These food markets are quite cheap. You can basically eat for a dollar or two. In these Thai markets, you can also find a bunch of clothes. Uh, they're not always at the best price. Uh, you can often find some cheaper on internet. Hello, Basically, uh, I am saying here that uh, yeah. these boxers, I can find them at the same price in France, but they're not counterfeit. So uh, maybe not of the same brand, of course. These are counterfeit brands. You find a lot of lots of counterfeit clothes in Thailand. You can get for a cheap price. But the qual quality isn't there, of course. Concerning electronics, you can find some quite good bargains if you uh, take the time to, uh, to shop around. As well as for clothes, if you're ready to negotiate and really look around, you can find some good, uh, good uh, opportunities. Often walking up and down these markets can be really fun. You never know what you'll find. I want not Calvin Klein on my boxes written. Really. It's got nothing written on the box. Yeah, I want you know written nothing. N O T, you know, just write write nothing. No one, no one, no one written there. I want written, I want written small. Small. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, enjoy the preview of the next vlog. I'm facing an eye infection here in uh, Thailand. I slipped at some point and I fell my, my I fell on my my head. Thanks for watching the video. Would you be so kind to gently obliterate the like button until it turns blue, and to tap that subscribe button and the bell notification so you are notified whenever the second vlog is released or another video.